Hello everybody out there in the music community. This is Micro Soldier 777 here. It's been a while since my last video, but uh, this is going to be a what spinning video. I'm going to show a few C's that I've listened to since my last uh, video. Let's get right to it. So here we have Leviticus, uh, Jay Scal Segra. Here you have it. And this is Swedish version of I Shall Conquer. As you may know, this came out in 1983 originally, and I Shall Conquer was released in 1984, a year later. Um, now, uh, my thoughts on this one is, well, now, as you may know, I Shall Conquer, I find is a bit more um, muddy in the mix, uh, even with the Rob Caldwell reissue. Um, this one here is more clear in a mix, and both sung in Swedish, it's all in Swedish, uh, which is her native tongue. Um, now, which version I prefer is hard to, hard to say. Um, both of these have their strong points and weak points. But like I said, this is, I'm really got, glad I got this album. Um, I ordered this from Rocks Records, and I originally ordered um, Jerusalem, um, Krigsman, which is the vinyl, on vinyl. Uh, which is Warrior, so the Swedish version. I also wanted the um, one order the um, uh, Pastor Bob Beeman called Diva book, um, or no Devo, I think it's called. Anyway, some kind of a devotional book. Anyway, and uh, Bill said to me that they're that they're so, they're sold out, and um, and he said I'll give you a refund. I said no, keep the money. I'll look at your store and see what uh, what. Um, what, what else is there? So anyway, I decided to go with this uh, this Lilica CD. It was for the same price as the um, uh, Bob Beeman book. So I'm really glad I picked up this album from, from Rock's Record Store. I'm really glad. All right, next up we have Fear Not, Fields of Sorrow. This is a good album. Um, as we know, we put an EP back about uh, 2019, I think it was. And uh, they switched singers. Now, um, I think on this album, I find the lead singer, the newly one they got, which his name escapes me. I find he's really at home with the band of this album, more so than the EP. Um, the songs I like on this one is Riptide, Voluntary Madness, Lay It Down, um, Lay It All Down, sorry, uh, Join Together, uh, Black Soul Sunshine, uh, Beautifully Beautiful Broken, Struggle, Into the Grave, and God's Country. Uh, the two bells are American Prayer, which is a good time, good song, and Carry Me. I think Carry Me was on was on the EP, but decided to do a reprise of this one uh, on uh, a different version or uh, on this CD. Um, and uh, the standard tracks uh, I find on this one uh, with uh, Fear Not Feels of Sorrow is Laid All Down, um, Joined Together, which is a, I think is a the Who. Uh, cover song, uh, Black Soul Sunshine, Beautiful, Beautiful Broken, and uh, Into the Grave, and God's Country. There, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six standard tracks on this one to me. Uh, but like I said, I think this is a good album. Uh, got that southern bluesy hard rock feel to it. Um, really, it's a good album. So there you have it. Uh, Fear Not Feels a Sorrow. Um, make sure to pick up this album, it's a really good album. There you have it. Next up we have Flames of Fire. This is a uh, Christian Lilligren project. As you may know, Christian Lilligren is the lead singer of the band Narnia, the main lead singer. Um, also is into a, he's also involved with a host of other different bands. And have some of those other bands also in my collection as well. Uh, he's, a great, he's a great singer. Uh, now, this album has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tracks, but the, the second, the first one and the last one are like just, uh, I think, closers, I think, uh, in theme. One second. Uh, let me double check something here. Yeah, so uh, sorry, sorry for this uh, uh, silence there. 
So the new dawn in end theme are short, uh, are short songs or short um, end off and intro to the album. But the main songs is Gloria, Flames of Fire, Madness, I Am, Time to Live, Solution, and Soldier of the King. All of these songs, all of them except for Solution, are good songs. Solution is sort of a slow, drawn out, nine minute song. It's it's okay song, but the other ones are great. So it's Gloria, Flames of Fire, Madness, I Am, Time to Live, and Soldier of the King. Great, great, uh, uh, melodic, galloping, uh, power metal, classic metal songs. The song Gloria reminds me of Iron Maiden. Uh, got that galloping um, melody through the song. So there you have it. Flames of Fire. Make sure you pick this one up. It's a 2022 release as well. <clears throat> Next up we have a, another European bass band, Angelic Forces. Um, as well. I'm, here, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about getting the vinyl for this too, but overall it's a pretty good album. Um, it's a power metal song, European power metal, with a little bit of thrashy elements to it. Not like full on thrash or speed metal. Uh, no, I shouldn't say thrash, more of a, um, a slight speed metal uh, elements to it. Not quite full on speed metal, but it's got that almost on the edge, but not quite, you know, full into speed metal th uh, throttle uh, uh, f speed, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, so this is another uh, pretty good release. Got a lot of good songs in this one. There you have it. Angelic Forces. And I think the, I think um, uh, the one before this was a short three-song EP, three for song EP. This is their first, first full-length album uh, that it came out. It's also a 2022 release. Next up is a band that, uh, or an artist that uh, I got into. Um, I have, and it's sort of on a thrashy punk side. Here we have Minier, uh, Retool. Now I don't have any, any he's listening of a Crucified, I don't know who he is. Now I don't have any Crucified albums, but uh, this is a good, good uh, short album. It's got like seven tracks, and uh, the seven, seven songs are short song, but the six, most of the six songs are really good. All songs are good. Don't Be Deceived, uh, The Skeptic, uh, Killing of the Innocent. I mean, like these are like full on thrash, speed uh uh with a little bit of punk influences in this album um this was a demo he put out on his own initiative and what he did was that uh, when rocks uh, decided to really re-release this album they call it retool and he had some extra uh I believe bass work and guitars this this album and i think it's a really good album uh really good 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 album uh as well so that's mini year retool uh, put by Rocks Records. Now, the date says 2022 in the back there, and the liner notes inside it says 2023. Uh, let me think for a second. Yeah, and uh, there's a bit of liner notes here with uh, sort of a time capsule with 2023 inside. So right, uh, right here. So I do think that this can be considered a 2023 release, uh, in my opinion. But like I said, uh, maybe Scott Waters or Bill, Bill Rocks and clarify that for me. There you have it, folks. That's my What's Spinning episode. Hope you all enjoy it. And uh, I'm, I may be showing another video soon with uh, with another theme. There you have it. Stay heavy. Sounds 150. Bye now.